been a lot of discussion of this, you know, titans of tech yeah. and this feeling that now the Googles and the Microsofts of the world, those that have the technology, collect, are cons going to consolidate power and there's going to be more of this sort of behemoths controlling everything, which has certainly got the attention perhaps negatively of Washington. Yeah. You're seeing Italy try to stop ChatGPT. What are you seeing in terms of just the fallout of who gets power in this environment? Are we are we looking in the wrong areas? Because it seems to imply that everybody can have a piece of it from what you're saying. That... All right. And again, I've asked 10 questions there, but let's, I, I do think that the powerful seem to be now in a position to become even more powerful, perhaps not to our benefit. Yeah, this is one of the things that we're fortunate. We've had many successes that enabled us to fund this kind of development because VCs wouldn't have funded a seven, eight, nine year project before it produced revenue. That's just right. not how, and this is why I think they went for crypto over AI and completely missed the AI revolution. But I think it's fair to raise the questions, but I don't know if it's, if it's possible to say, can it be small guys that, that win? Today, the way this technology- Am I biased in thinking it should be small guys that win? I don't think necessarily- It's that. hard, and I'll tell you why. Um, it requires huge scale to make these machines work. They're not as efficient as our brains. When I said it's modeled after our brain, it's modeled after a very simplistic version of our brain. We create artificial neurons. The human neuron is so much more complex than these are. And so that's why they require so many computers. That's why they require so much money to get it going. It's why they require so much data. We can learn something pretty quickly. We can, we can go from riding a bike to getting on a motorcycle and be, know how to balance. We have all these capabilities that this technology does not currently have. Mm -hmm. So that leads itself to these very large players, right? If you look at Sam Altman, he was able to raise massive amounts of money because he ran Y Combinator. Yep. Demis, who built DeepMind, one of the most important companies of our lifetime, couldn't raise the money and had to sell it to Google. Right? He just couldn't get enough people to see behind it. We had to use our own money to do it. And now, yes. And now I should remind money. people, you are you had a company prior to this, LinkShare, yeah. um, with you and your sister, Hi, and then your CEO, Tad Martin, was with Overstock, Overstock right? So basically you came into this venture. Let's walk back a little bit. The genesis of what you wanted to create and the need you saw in the marketplace way back before we were talking about generative AI, what was the gap that you were filling? So we were looking back and we were saying, okay, we now live in a world where the only part of the world that has not been digitized, that's still based on people's opinions, is the economy. That seemed weird to us, mm -hmm. right? If you look at everything else, I mean, people are, 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 are optimizing keywords, I mean, like to like amazing degrees. Which is what Linkshare did, Yeah, right? Linkshare, we, we did something called affiliate marketing. And so yeah. we had this huge network around the world, so efficient, so like to the minute you could know everything that was going on, it was amazing. And then we looked at the way the economy operated and it's kind of crazy. Like I, every time Chairman Powell comes out, I'm always like, he's using a book called the Beige Book that was like three months old data to make determinations of what will affect the entire world. That to me seems really weird. Yeah. So how can you not want to optimize the economy? It's the most important thing in the world. It affects everybody's day to day and nobody seemed to care. And the business model around optimizing the economy was what? So there's a few ways uh, you can monetize it. You can monetize it down to selling licenses. You can monetize it to selling insights. You can monetize it so many different ways. I don't think we cared about revenue to begin. I think we said, can you do this? And what we started seeing emerging was that as the neural nets started getting more and more sophisticated, as more companies kept joining, it just kept getting smarter and smarter. And it got to a point where even when Silicon Valley Bank blew up, the night it blew up, the AI was pointing every deal that was affected every single company that had an impact, it found through filings, news reports, like these emerging properties of how it started thinking was just crazy. This is what we get excited for. Mm -hmm.